Hello everyone and welcome back to Next Space Rebels. In a comment to a recent video, somebody had mentioned that a lot of the rockets that get made to fulfill the orbit contract tend to be SSTOs, single stage to orbit systems, at least based on what they had seen. And that sort of makes sense to me because we do have this complexity number. And when you think about it, multiple stage rockets, well this isn't multiple stage, we don't have the decoupler in there, but they are more complex in a way, right? There's, uh, might, there might be extra parts involved. And so that increases the complexity. And so if you're trying to get to orbit as quickly as possible, it might be easier to do that with a single stage. I don't know for sure yet, but of course, the way the numbers work out in this game so far has been weird. So yeah, I can see that the complexity number might lead people to end up with single stage to orbit systems. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure though. I haven't actually tried it out myself, obviously. We haven't gotten to that part yet. Uh, so, but I think my goal is going to be to get as high a complexity number as possible. So I'm going to do all the challenges. So this is the new goal. I'm going to try to do all the ancillary challenges before trying to make orbit so that I can make as complex a rocket to fulfill the goal as possible. So instead of doing what everybody else does and uh, do, and uh, build a single stage to orbit system, or uh, if that is indeed the case that people do tend to do that, uh, I will build a more sophisticated rocket that uh, perhaps might be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, who knows. Uh, so yeah, that is the plan, rather than rush the whole orbit thing. Uh, that was not the plan before, I was intending to rush the whole orbit thing, <laughs> but uh, I have changed my mind, so we will see how this goes. So uh, I, I guess I didn't complete this conversation about the pot pump, so let's go with that. Somebody had a theory that the gas tanks could be configured for different propellants. We'll check that out too. Okay, I'd like you to build a very heavy rocket and try to launch it using this new pump. Yes, please. That way we can see what it can do. Uh, of course, anything for you. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess we'll talk to Mr. Rebel. Uh, official rebel rank, awesome. It doesn't mean anything. Yes, I noticed the deja vu. Uh, I also noticed the tag limit. In fact, you offer the same tags. <laughs> you guys don't really make anything new, you just copied everything. I'll be revolutionary. In fact, we will revolve around the Earth many times when we were in orbit. Uh, okay, yeah, you keep, you're still talking. I got it. You're still talking. Costs money? You're in money trouble? Now you need money, Mr. Don't Need Money? Well, good luck. You better share some of that money once you get some, though. Anything I can- Now I have to raise money for him? After they plotted to get me off of StarTube? I don't- I mean, I don't understand why I need the tags, but... Uh, maybe if I can make money, I need the tags, but otherwise... Okay, we've got plenty of things, um, including weight that's illegal. I thought we had already done that one. But, yeah, I'll gain complexity for that. So let's just do it. That seems easy enough. Um, okay, let's just get rid of this stuff. Let's quickly go through. I need bigger nose cones. Oh heck, let's just go all out and use the retro nose cone. It's huge though. Shoot. No, I mean, I still have a policy of trying to make a decent sized rocket for our goals. Figured I'll go 100 meters? Well, and it has to be within three seconds. Let's see if this works out. This is pretty simple. Uh, apparently not within the time. 
but let's just go ahead and use a big booster. I mean... We've got places to go, pumps to test. This one doesn't have any sound. But anyway, we got to the level. It's easy. We'll get the extra complexity, which is the important part. I don't even want to look at it. What the? That's not even a good view. This is horrible. I've got no idea who it was. With that rocket building of mine. Yeah, I gotta watch out. I told them though. Told them. The important thing is I got my complexity. That's that's all. I don't care anymore. We're doing all sorts of. Do not do not learn from this game, children. Do not learn from this game. This game is a very bad game. I mean, morally speaking. Right. Well, we we need to use only one engine. That we've got. We've got new oxygen tanks, so let's take a look at our tanks before we change. Uh, let, let's just get rid of all this. We'll probably need totally different structure and such. This is 8 kilogram per second, so the pop pump will take care of all that. We don't need these pumps anymore. We'll figure out the connectors in a sec. So one engine, that pump, oxygen. Well, it's oxygen. That's a big oxygen cylinder. Okay. But I had wanted to see whether some of the other tanks could be configured for oxygen. So let's see. Small gas bottle. No, it's just, it's not set fuel. It's not saying that you can change it. It's saying that this is part of the set fuel. Okay, so I see what that person was thinking about. There is a spherical fuel tank, which is sort of neat. But, um, let's check the ratios here. This one... Well, let me just calculate it. What is the dry mass of this tank? So, this tank is basically 94% fuel. This tank is 92.7% fuel. I don't think this spherical tank... But it's got a nice fuel flow. This is 93.6% fuel, so it's not quite as much as the truck fuel tank, but it's got a better fuel flow. But we'd have to add a lot of connectors, so that diminishes its efficiency. That medium gas bottle is horrible. That's only got a 71.1% fuel percentage. Yeah, that, uh, the gas bottles are no good. Yep, I don't know what to do with the gas bottles, but the spherical fuel tank is good enough. I don't know how much oxygen we want per fuel tank right now, but we'll try two of these. The NSR scrap is just about the wrong size. Like, almost exactly the wrong size for what we want to do. It's amazing. I still want to do Control Z to undo things, but that doesn't work. Oh no, there's a gap! Hey, I used Snap there! Why is there a gap then? What's the point of Snap if you leave gaps, huh? Okay, we've got it all connected up. But it's all leaning to this side. <laughs> Uh, let's see, center of mass. Uh, I guess it's okay. There's a lot of structure apparently. Well, I mean, but it doesn't count the oxygen in that fuel quantity. This combined fuel of all tanks and boosters doesn't include the oxygen. Well, I mean, this pump said it was 8 kil uh, kilograms per second, so I guess it's gonna be a high enough fuel flow rate. Let's find out. Alright, go. Ooh, it's got a lot of gap and go. 
We do need more oxygen for this amount of fuel though. And we definitely met the fuel flow rate. Okay, so we have half the oxygen that we needed. We could stage off those oxygen tanks to get rid of their mass. 26 kilometers we lasted to. No, well, we don't need the fuel flow rate now. Let's get the vertical speed. Not as high as I'd like. Mass. 160 kilograms dry. We had gotten to 160 before. Uh, nope. It's only 158. But okay. We got that. Done. Only common tags, though. That's sad. I thought we had gotten to 160, but it seemed to indicate that that was our record just now. Apparently it's a mega smart combo. But it's a common mega smart combo. Okay. Well, extra oxygen. Two cylinders, two oxygen injectors, reach 10 kilometers. I think we've got just the rocket for that. Let's pick it up again. But we will make some changes. I want to trim out some mass if possible. Let's uh, try and get rid of some of the structural mass with all these NSR parts that I used. You know, the lampshade though, I don't know if it's going to be able to take the heat, if you will, but the lampshade's only 100 grams, but it's this big. Yeah, it might break apart, though. We're going to double lampshade it. That'll really be dangerous. I don't know, though. You never know. Until you test it. Okay, the double lampshade rocket. We've got the requirements. Hopefully we've got less structural mass, so we'll see. Surprised the lampshades can even bear the weight on top. Okay, we did make the 10 kilometers, that's fine. We cut out like 15 kilograms of dry mass there. The lampshades are doing fine. I think we're just gonna go all lampshades from now on. I mean, 100 grams. We seem to be going more horizontal now, though. Well, not that much. Maybe it's just the camera. Can we make 180 kilometers? We're getting close. 180, there we go. Okay. And that will be a wrap. Okay. I'm not gonna wait for it to come down. Viral tag though, suddenly. The other one only gave me commons, jeez. Okay. Common line. but. But I did that. I guess it was too soon after the previous one. Blackbird, huh? T-bone. Cross. Crazy. We're using a lampshade. It seems like the most logical thing to use, to be honest. At that mass. Shouldn't even be using the PVC pipes. NSR set. Well, this person has gotten some nice stuff before. Just continue the building, yeah. Uh, well, I, I would sound confident, but they didn't give me any other option. <laughs> you have new stuff for me. I need new stuff. I'm glad you like that. Praise the earlier part. Uh... I'll be sure to do that. Yes. Great. Diagonal box, bridge box, small... Uh, okay, these are... Wow, cool. There's more. 
Oh, these are just cluttering things. <laughs> I needed more productive parts. Let's see, racing maybe. Finally! Uh, connector for the oxygen. Uh, why didn't you give it to me before? Can't wait to use it. Yep. Okay. So, optimizing Diplo oxygen injector reach 20 kilometers. They, they don't understand where, where I've gone, have they? Uh, do they? Do not understand. But okay. We'll continue pushing the limits, though I'm not trying to go horizontal. I'm deliberately not going horizontal. Okay. So, we don't have to use two of the oxygen thingies. It also means we don't need this. Uh, though, uh, no, we can double up the oxygen now. I'm gonna need a bigger rocket. <laughs> uh huh. Have they got anything new in the shopping apartment? Doesn't seem like it, huh? What is a cargo nose cone? Let me just skip that. I need any sort of nose cones. I'll buy that. I don't get the blue fins and the... Ah, uh, no, those yellow fins don't make any sense to me. You'll stick to the blue fins. The pink fins are a bit overpriced. I don't know what a subframe is. Hmm. Let me get the ball tube just to see. I just want to know what the size of these things are. Oh my god, that's too small! Why are you giving me such small things? Oh, they're so small. Those are useless and expensive. Cargo nose cone, not too bad in general, but the drag is makes it useless. This ball segment. Oh, it could be worse. But yeah, no, that's not helpful. Fins though. 3.5 kilograms. The section that we have down here right now is 12. So, I mean, if these fins can actually keep it stable, that's worthwhile. Now, if we only had some replacement for that nose cone that actually prevented drag. That nose cone doesn't have any drag rating. It's basically perfect in that department. As opposed to the NSR ones, which uh, they do have lots of drag. I mean, that nose cone is largely determining our size right now. I'm gonna try and sneak three of the oxygen tanks in, though. Okay, no floating parts. Let's see if we can get this connected. Oh, let's uh, get some more aerodynamic stuff for this side. Wood. You know, that wood nose is not the worst, amazingly enough. Yeah, it's not that bad. We'll think about it later, though. Um, thread that needle. All right. This goes down there. That goes there. That goes there. We actually don't need the side one. All right. And then that one. And that one. And then that one. Okay. Now we got three of the oxygen. We've got the Diplo oxygen injector. But we've got these other fins. And structurally, I think we're lighter. Because lampshades. <laughs> and well, we'll see. Those oxygen tanks, how heavy are they? Ooh, they're very heavy. Dry mass uh, 15 kilograms. So we should stage them off. Hmm. That's an idea. In fact, they're so heavy we should stage them off in turn. We should use gates and, you know, drop one of them off at a time would be better than carrying them. But let's go with this for now. 
we will optimize later. They're only asking us to get to 20 kilometers after all. Okay, let's see where we go. Surely more than 20. But yeah, if we're gonna decouple them, that uh, suggests a whole other sort of setup. But unfortunately, that other setup works best if you can work in 3D. <laughs> Well, actually, it's pretty much on par. We got an oxygen surplus I didn't even notice. Does it consume more oxygen at sea level? How does that work? That was weird, wasn't it? Mass. I want mass. It's a little bit heavier, but that's because we're carrying the extra oxygen tank, which was dry mass 15 kilograms. So compared to last time, we actually have less dry mass, uh, except for that that new oxygen tank. Aiming for 200 kilometers this time maybe, hopefully? I don't know. There we go, 200 kilometers. Oh, it's got a very spacey view here. In the follow camera. Well, 211 kilometers, that's, that's it. Yep. Rare tag. It says rocket broke apart, I sure didn't see it, <laughs> but uh, okay, record speed. It was faster than that, wasn't it? Oxidizer, yep, lots of oxidizer. Um, I, I mean, I'm not supposed to use the gray dot ones. Really, lampshade is the most important thing. This is all about the power of lampshades, folks. Okay, satisfied. You've got me another part. Yes. Yes, you are. A strong oxygen tank. Now we're talking industrial oxygen stack. Pot pump. So does that challenge this open the gate? Start using the other afterwards. So this is staging the fuel tank. Yeah, it looks like uh, probably a lot of people... And uh, maybe it wasn't SSTOs that people did. Maybe they did the uh, staging of tanks, which is one and a half stage stuff. Let's see. Wood base startup. We can wait on that. That isn't giving us much complexity. We should just base it on how much complexity they're giving us. Well, we can definitely reach 1,500 kilometers per hour with the pot pump. And that gives us the most additional complexity. I'll just pick up the previous rocket and we'll change to the new oxygen tank and see where it gets us. Well, that, that seems very much in line with the other thing. Um, how much is it? 105. We only needed 3 times 28 though. So we needed less than 84 kilograms. This one's giving us too much. Ends up with the equivalent dry mass of three of those. I think I'm gonna toss in an extra fuel tank. And maybe make it a spherical tank. Now the thing is, this one is going to deplete pretty darn quickly. Well, we'll see how it ends up doing the mixture. I don't know. Okay, that's some mixed with oxidizer. Pass this line along. Alright, well, it's a little bit redder. We'll see how that works out for us. So, that'll deplete pretty quickly, the top fuel tank. Technically, I feel like we should be putting the oxidizer tank on top. That's usually how it works, but that is in a different sort of situation altogether. Right. Well, I'm sure we can complete the challenge. Seems pretty streamlined to me. Okay, let's go. Oh, I don't have the required parts. Oh, 200 kilograms. I saw 200 grams. Oh dear, okay. That's a whole other business. I, I mistook the magnitude of this situation. That is going to be a lot harder to get to that speed. 200 kilograms. 
What is the heaviest single thing that we have, anyway? The pallet? Uh, that sticks out. Can't believe they think that a guitar is only gonna be 100 grams. Uh, but our complexity is getting too high. See, I mean, not only do we need to get the required mass, we need to do it within our complexity limit. These parts have too much complexity. More wheelbarrow tub. Okay, I've tossed in as much structure as I can. Well, let me get rid of this one. Maybe I can sneak it one more wheelbarrow tub over here. Maybe even two more. But I'm so far not feeling like we can manage this. Which sort of begs the question, what is the rest of this? I mean, I guess we've got a lot of engine mass. I would like to know what my structural mass is. Is there a way of finding that out? How close are we? Well, clearly the PVC pipes are not helping here. So, I'm gonna move some tubs over. But how do I get rid of the PZ? I'll we'll have to disconnect everything. Well, you thought we were done with ridiculousness, huh? Well, think again. Okay, we've got 200 kil- just barely. Managed to get 200 kilograms of structural mass. And I have to connect it all up. There's so many of these tubs. But can we reach that speed? I have no idea. Okay, we are connected. We have 200 kilograms of structural mass. Can we get to... Well, hold on. Let's check the center of thrust versus center of mass here. Let's move that over just a little bit. Okay, can we get to that speed? Let's find out. Just as I was adoring the lampshades, they made me take out the lampshades and build this wheelbarrow mess instead. See how this game works? Well, at least it started going up. That's a lot of surplus oxidizer though. Oh, it's almost on par now. It's completely different as we go up. I don't understand, really. Well, we definitely reached a speed. In fact, even though we have 200 kilograms of structural mass, how come we couldn't- I mean, we, we had a structural mass of 140 before. I mean, sorry, 160. But that was not including the fuel tank dry mass. What is our actual dry mass now? 341 kilograms. They don't count the fuel tank dry mass as structural mass. 341. So our dry mass is double. Well, we're not going to make it to space. Okay, we're going down. We hit 87.7 kilometers. I'm not going to follow it all the way down. Alright, epic tags. Travel. Distance of 10 kilometers. Surely we've done that. Aurora, 80 kilometers. Collage, five different structural sets. And Scrap Pirate. Huh. Wheelbarrow. Definitely lots of wheelbarrow. That's a lot of combos. Better pump. An even better pump? Uh, you designed it. Really, the pumps are difficult. Fully professional product. So where can I buy it? Thank you very much. Industrial pump. Okay, one last challenge. Oh, I like the challenges. They let me get complexity. More attention. Bring it on. Okay, well, we'll have to take a look at what that is. Passion for pumps. 20 kilograms. Fine. 20 kilograms of structural mass we can do. But one... Kilometer per second within 10 seconds, huh? Industrial pump. 17 kilograms per second, folks. Oh my god, look at that thing. 
More lampshade. Actually, we don't have enough mass. <laughs> Seemed like using the spherical tank was a good idea last time. It looks like we need a little bit more structural mass. Those lampshades are making it too easy. I'll use the old retro bottom here. Okay, I'll want the combiner over here. I say combiner, it's just fuel stacker. Okay, so what we need to do is reach a speed of one kilometer per second within 10 seconds. I've kept it reasonably light, but we're carrying a lot of fuel, so maybe we can cut... Uh, if it turns out it doesn't have the acceleration that we need, we should cut the fuel tanks and make it much smaller. Less duration, since that's it's not our goal to get very high. We just need to go fast. But we'll see what this does first. Okay, you launch. I mean, that's a lot of get up and go already. We got it. Look at all that. I think we're gonna punch right through our old record. Uh, let's do the follow cam. Uh, it's sort of got a fisheye lens thing to it. Forget it. Let's just go on board. Oh, the onboard cam is missing the rocket. Forget it. Alright, we need to see a rocket. 250 doesn't look like 250. 248 is about it. Alright, it is going down. And you know what? I'll follow it down this time. We've skipped that part. This is the highest we've gotten. Let's see what happens. Will it burn up? We will find out. We're going to be coming down faster than we've ever come down before. Okay, above three kilometers per second. Now very much in the atmosphere. The ground is coming up to meet us. And we are flipping over because, oh, we, we got torn apart. Okay, that's fine. And, well, it switched cameras on us. And, yeah, no, no burning up as such. But ripping apart happens. Okay, finish. We definitely got the record altitude. And why does it only say 1.74 kilometers per second? Because... We definitely got faster than that, right? So I don't quite understand that. Okay, anyway. Mozambique. Oh, because uh, that's where the bump lady is from. Symmetric? Was it symmetric? I thought we had pipes on one side and not the other. Professional, though. Tough to get followers and views on this new network. <laughs> okay, all right. I think I think that does it for me. Oh, we got a new Rocket Girl video. I'll quickly scan through that. Hey, Rocket Heads, I'm here. Rocket Head. Okay, Eagle's Nest. Give it a try. New headquarters. This is what you're. This is why you don't have enough money. You were spending it all on your new headquarters, which is empty. And that's not a good thing to show. <laughs> money. Why shouldn't we use the money of a third party for the pursuit of our ideals? Indeed. And give some of it to me while you're at it. Let's talk about profit. Let me introduce you to this concept. <laughs> uh, autonomous, completely in charge of your ideas. Uh, it's going to end up showing him uh, dropping into the depths of capitalism, isn't it? Dare to dream. Oh, she's she's very disillusioned. Let's let's catch her disillusioned look. Hey, hey, it would it would do you good too. If all of this becomes a reality, I personally guarantee that the money will reach everyone in the community. I'm not convinced, Radik. I really hope you will make the right. Told you he didn't have enough of a goatee. Yeah, you gotta get a revolutionary with more of a goatee if you want if you want the full no money thing. She's, she's sad. I hope this means I get paid. <laughs> Alright, let's get through these conversations. B, 
biggest blessing to rocketeering. Okay, glad I could help. I've been blasting through these challenges. It is true. It is true. Large bell engine. Okay, that looks fancy. And he's just gonna give it to me without any further comment. That argument. We'll hold off on the Rocket Girl argument. Rocket Girl is not giving me any parts. So, we're gonna leave it here, having done those challenges, and we'll see where we get to in the next video. With that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.